death. Most of us prefer to avert our eyes at the sight of it, but not artists, oh no. Artists enjoy picking over it. Death has been one of art's great subjects, and art's treatment of it has tended to separate the men from the boys, the great artists from the ordinary ones. Witness the fascination with death of Rembrandt van Rijn. Rembrandt seemed often to have death on his mind. His own, yes, in those doggedly pessimistic self-portraits, but also everyone else's. He painted plenty of the usual dead Christs hauled up and down the cross like meat at a butcher's. And he painted meat at the butcher's crucified like a Christ. You wouldn't want to be a bird in Rembrandt's presence because he only looked at you properly when you were dead. From the beginning, he was haunted by the spectre of the end. Rembrandt produced a couple of the most brazen evocations of death in the whole of art. Above all, there's his strange painting in the beautiful Moritz House in The Hague, The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Tulp. It's acknowledged as one of his most powerful works, and the moment you see it, you know you're in the presence of a most unusual masterpiece. Eight curious men, hunched eagerly around a corpse, like a gaggle of illegal gamblers on Tottenham Court Road, captivated by the three-card trick. Why would Rembrandt want to paint this?